DAPS has been around since 1978. That's over 40 years. 40 years that DAPS has been providing services for people with Parkinson's as well as their families. I have been with DAPS now seven years and it's been so exciting during those seven years to see the growth and the progress that DAPS has made. The services that we provide for people with Parkinson's and their families is exercise, speech, and support groups as well as educational opportunities. Let me share with you some specifics about those things. The exercise classes are extremely important. We all need exercise. Someone with Parkinson's especially needs exercise. And so we have dedicated and committed instructors who know how to accommodate people at whatever level of ability they may be. For example, someone shows up and all they can do is sit in their chair. Well, the exercise leader is able to accommodate and modify that exercise so that that person in the chair can also participate. Someone else may be able to stand behind a chair or else use their, their walker. And again, the exercises can be modified to make that possible. Then, of course, there are others who are able to stand and they are able to do the exercises, again, at their ability level. The other thing that we provide is speech classes. That is so important for people with Parkinson's disease because it is a disease that affects the muscles, then it also affects the muscles in the throat. And so as the disease progresses, one's ability to, to articulate and to project and even swallow begins to decline. And so as those muscles are maintained and exercised, they are able to maintain those abilities, which ensure a healthy lifestyle. The other thing that we do is provide support groups. We provide two different kinds of support groups, one for the person with Parkinson's, the other for the family of that person. Parkinson's is one of those diseases that doesn't affect just that person with Parkinson's. It's like when you throw a stone into a pond or into the water and the ripples begin to go out. Parkinson's disease does that. Not only the person with the disease, but the family, friends, their job, and on and on as those ripples go out. So we provide those support groups for the people with Parkinson's as well as the caregiver or the care partner. The other thing that we do is educational series. We do those on at least a monthly basis, and we bring in doctors, physical therapists, dietitian, speech therapists, all professions that help people who are living with Parkinson's to live well. And we do that on a monthly basis. We do some of that virtually. We do some of that live. And as we are coming to the end of the pandemic, we are looking forward to doing more and more of that live. One of the other things that we're excited about is there is a group in the Dallas area called YOPD Rebels. Now what that stands for is Young Onset Parkinson's Disease Rebels. When someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's early in life, there is a whole new set of challenges that they have to deal with. And so we are able to work with them by providing them some space where they can meet they can have those times when they can share with each other and learn things about how to deal with the challenges that they are facing. Finally, I would say that the free services that we provide, we're able to do that only because of many, many, many generous donors and sponsors. You too can help. There's a number of ways that you can help. You can help by volunteering in the office, volunteering at any of our locations uh, with a number of things. You can also help by becoming one of those generous donors. One of the ways that, that I am most proud of is a program that we call GEMS, G-E-M-S, DAPS GEMS. And that stands for people who give every month. You can find out more about that program on our website. And we have people who give at every level, everywhere from $10 to $100 a month. And the gift really does make a difference. Your gift will make a difference. And so I hope that you will check us out on the, on the website, www.daps.org, and learn more about ways that you can support DAPS. Finally, if you or someone in your family has Parkinson's, please contact us. Please take a look at our website. And then if a friend or a neighbor or someone you know, someone you go to church with has Parkinson's disease, share with them DAPS as a resource that they could use. Thank you, and I hope someday to meet you in person.